Sometimes two functions let me look the same, but they actually have different domain. So in this video, we are going to talk about three examples on just that. For the first one, we have f of x, which is this, and g of x is just that. Do they have the same domain? Well, if we look at f of x, it seems like we can factor this, which is just x plus 3 times x plus 5. And it seems that we can just cancel this and that out, right? And we just get 1 over x plus 5, which is the same as g of x. Not really. Okay, here's the deal. Because the function is written in this way first. So to talk about the domain, we have to worry about this and that cannot be equal to zero. So for the domain of a rational function, before you cancel anything, go ahead and just go to the denominator and write down x squared plus 8x plus 15 cannot be equal to zero. And then you can solve for x from here. Factor it, we get x plus 3 times x plus 5 cannot be equal to zero. This right here cannot be equal to zero, meaning that x cannot be equal to negative 3. And this right here cannot be equal to zero, meaning that x cannot be equal to negative 5. So as we can see, we actually have two restrictions. And again, do not cancel anything out if you want to find the domain. But if you look at g of x, we only have this on the bottom in the beginning. So we just have to look at x plus 5, make it not equal to 0. This means x cannot be equal to negative 5. One restriction here, but two restrictions here. So of course, they have different domains. So the answer for this right here will be a no. And just for practice purpose, Let's write this down in interval notation. The domain for this, because negative 5 is smaller, we will go from negative infinity to negative 5. Do not include negative 5. And then we have the union from negative 5 to negative 3. Again, do not include this. And the union from negative 3 to infinity. Cool. And then for this right here, the domain is just going to be from negative infinity to negative 5, and then union from negative 5 to positive infinity. That's it. Number 2 is actually really, really tricky. f of x is square root of x over square root of x plus 2, and g of x is just one square root of x over x plus 2. Aren't they the same? Yes, only if they are on the common domain. But they do not have the same domain. This right here is actually a no. Let me just tell you guys the answer right off of the bat. This is why. Here we have the square root of x. Whenever you have square root of an expression, go ahead, make the inside greater than or equal to 0. So the first restriction is x has to be greater than or equal to 0 from here. And then we see that we have this. x plus 2 inside of the square root as well. So we will have to say x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. OK, but you know what? This square root is on the bottom. So we have to look at the whole thing right here and make it not equal to 0, because this is a fraction, right? So we will also have to say square root of x plus 2 cannot be equal to 0. So we have these three restrictions, technically. This is done. For this right here, we can just move the 2 to the right-hand side, so x has to be greater than or equal to negative 2. And for this, we can square both sides and then bring the 2 to the other side. It's just that x cannot be equal to negative 2. So in fact, you can combine this and that together, x has to be greater than negative 2. But we have all these three conditions that we have to satisfy. The easy way to see this is on a number line. So check this out. Let's say here we have a number line and we want x is greater than or equal to 0. Let's say here is 0, and uh, we want greater than or equal to, so close circle and then go to the right. Next, we have this, which is, again, a number line here. x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Let's say negative 2 is right here. Technically, for this, we have a close circle, and then we go all the way to the right. And lastly, you have that, which is like this, negative 2, and then x cannot be negative 2, meaning that we're just going to have a closed circle. And technically, everything else is OK, based on what this means. But anyway, we're going to combine everything together. So we're going to find out the overlapping interval. So it's just like this right here. You see, just right, right here. So the domain for this is that x has to be greater than or equal to 0. 
So I will just tell you the domain is just that we have to go from zero or above and we include the zero. So it's bracket zero to infinity. So that would be the domain for that one. However, for this, you see, we only have one square root. We are going to make this right here greater than or equal to zero. So write down x over x plus two greater than or equal to zero. But we have this on the bottom. So we are going to say x plus two cannot be equal to zero. So we have these two restrictions. This right here is a rational inequality, which is very tricky. And then the easiest way, I will tell you, is to do the safe way. To do the safe way, it's the following. Look at this, look at that, and then we are going to find out what I call the, the numbers that we care. The numbers that we care. Do this when you have one side equal to zero, which we do. This is how you find out number to care. Right here, you make it equal to zero, or x is equal to zero, so that will be a number that we care. And then you make this equal to zero, x plus two equals zero, well, x will be negative two, so you care about negative two. So you care about negative two and zero. And then you draw a number line, and then you mark negative two, and then you also mark zero. We care about zero, and we also want to include zero because we have a greater than or equal to. So we are going to close circle here we care about negative 2 but we cannot have negative 2 because right here this is on the bottom so we'll put a closed circle and in fact this also shows x cannot be negative 2 because it's on the bottom and now we are going to test this out we want to see for what value we'll make this expression positive pretty much right greater than or equal to zero but because the, the, the zero right here already, right? This right here is a zero already, so let's see. Pick a number less than negative two. Let's say negative three. Plug in, we get negative three over negative three plus two. That's negative three, which is negative, over negative one, which is negative. Negative negative is positive, so this is indeed correct. So we are actually going to take this, take this piece. Okay, and then pick a number in between of negative 2 and 0, let's say negative 1, and you put it here, put it here, negative 1 over negative 1 plus 2, and we get negative over positive, is this true? No, this is the no-go, so do not shade this in. And then pick a number greater than 0, let's say 1, <laughs> put it here, put it here, you get 1 over 1 plus 2. And uh, we see, of course, this is greater than or equal to zero, so this checks. So it means that we take this part right here. And then we count it for the negative two right here already, so we're all done. So as you can see, the domain for this function is actually these two pieces. The first piece goes from negative infinity to negative two. Do not include negative two. So we put down a bracket, and let me emphasize that right here. And then, we have another piece starting from zero to infinity. So we put on union, we do include the zero, and then we go from zero to infinity. Hmm? Just like that. So as you can see, for this one, we have this additional piece for the domain. Okay, for part C, this is also a tricky one. Because if you look at g of x, which is log of x. Okay, for part C, this is also a tricky one. Because if you look at this right here, ln x plus ln of x minus 4, well, we are adding two natural logs, so we can use the log property. We can just multiply the insides together. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Aren't they the same? Yes, only on their common domain, but they do not have the same domain. In fact, this right here is a null as well. Let me just tell you guys right away. So now let's talk about what the domain is for this one right here. Whenever you have a log function, log of a legitimate base, you have to make sure that the inside is greater than zero. Log of zero is not defined, so you cannot have zero. So let's go ahead and just write down. We need to have x squared minus 4x to be bigger than zero. And then right here we'll just solve this, and this is the polynomial inequality. Do it the safe way. How do we do it? First, you factor it. 
x and then x minus 4 and you want this to be greater than 0 and then we are going to find out the numbers that we care put down care what do we care? make this factor equal 0 which x is 0 and then you make this equal 0 which x has to be 4 so we care about 0 and 4 and then let's go ahead and draw a number line let's say 0 is here and let's say 4 is here we care about them but we don't want to have them because of this inequality says so there's no equal sign right i know that sounds bad we care about them but we don't want to have them that's just how it is so we come here put an open circle open circle here and then just test the point out right so let's say pick a number less than zero let's say negative one put it here put it here negative one times negative one minus four negative times negative which is going to be positive that's exactly what we want so we take this piece right we'll take that piece all right pick a number between zero and four let's say two put it here put it here we are looking at two times two minus four positive times negative well we don't get positive so it's a no-go and then pick a number bigger than four let's say five put it there put it there right so we get five and then 5 minus 4 positive positive so this is a yes so you pick this piece as well so we have two pieces for the domain now for this one right here we have two separate logarithms so we are going to look at the first one right here and the inside right away put it greater than zero this is what we want to happen right away and then we also have this instead of this natural log so we are going to make x minus 4 greater than 0 as well so we want this and that both happen this right here is done this right here means we have x is greater than 4 so we have two inequalities to look at and perhaps the most clear way is to show you guys with the overlap like what we did earlier so have a look let's say this is 0 x is greater than 0 open circle and we go to the right so this is the piece that we want and then for this right here let's say 4 is right here we don't want to have 4 so open circle x is greater than 4 we want to go this way and then we look at the overlapping which is just this part so as you can see this is the only piece that we have earlier for this one it does have another piece so that's why they do not have the same domain and finally we'll just write down the domain in interval notation for this one it starts at negative infinity up to zero do not include zero though and then we union with the other one starting at four and then it goes to infinity for this right here you just want four to infinity so the domain is just 4 to infinity yeah that's it so be really really careful on when you can really use the properties of logarithms this and that in fact they are only the same on the common domain which is this right here hopefully this helps